We're back in Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy. Thank you all for joining us uh, this show. It's been a great show. we got Dr. Ryan McGowey in studio with us from the Galley Health Group. Check him out on the website, healthyslowcounty.com. That's slocounty.com, or call him at 805-461-8822. Some of the topics we've been talking about today is golf good for you, talking about heat or ice, when to stretch, uh, different things you can do to to be uh, be active and stay active, and I guess would it be called preventative maintenance, preventative injury maintenance? Golf lifestyle. Care. Golf thing, lifestyle. I think oh, the cool. bottom line thing we talked about is golf is good for you. Yeah. And it's not bad for you. <laughs> I think it's, it's the mentally, best. physically, it's the best thing socially, ever, people. if it's done right. But I did have one that was on the list, and I think that the especially people who walk and or even in the, the push cart or the pull cart are really popular now. I walk. And you have a, do you have a push or pull cart? I carry, carry my okay. bag. So people like you carry too many clubs and too many balls in it. So it's heavy and it's, it's, it's wearing on their body because of the strict weight of these things. Yeah. Are pushing I actually and pulling. dump out and so, a lot of my so stuff. So we're talking general, not just Nikki, because oh, okay. Nikki, you do know everything. It says right here okay, good. on writing. I just want to make sure about so, that. But for a lot of people that I see, they got these really heavy bags. They're trying they were like, I'm going to I'm going to walk today. I'm going to get nine holes in. It's a couple miles walk. It's, you know, it's 8,000 yeah. steps and this and that, but they got this big old bag or they're you know, pushing or pulling and it's too heavy for, them. they don't need all those clubs. I mean, seriously, you might, Nikki, because you play everything. But most people don't need every club in their bag. So people should lighten up. Their, one of my little kids played PGA League, and he's struggling and sweating, and he's just a little guy. So I said, I'll carry your bag to the next hole. He must have had 70 balls in his bag. Yeah. Yeah, so what, yeah you don't want that. Where do you got? I can barely lift this thing. And, you know, poor little guy's just he's gonna about you know, to die. I went out. There. So that was my, you got to get a lighter bag, people, if you're going to I went walk. out and carried my bag at Avila the other day, and I thought, God, my bag is so heavy. What the heck? Am I just getting old or something? And I got home, and I realized that my friend had put two ice packs in the side See? pack pocket, go. and I didn't know it. I'm like, oh, God. So I told you that you knew I mean, the big one, thing. not the little one. Yeah. So then you should see your health fitness and make sure you get a follow-up report. But I was report. being iced. The whole time I was walking, I was being iced. <laughs> So. Especially if you work a deal, you should get a you should get a report. So my big breaking news about balls. Remember yes. we talked about last week was our yes. balls show. There was a big study recently done. If you if you play with a ball that has a scuff on it, you've hit hit the cart path, or if it's the grooves kind of scuffed it up or bounced off a building. I know that never happened to you, Nikki, but it's happened to Mike and me. <laughs> yes, um, it has. Does it affect too. the? It flight. happens to me, Billy. It basically doesn't affect the flight at all. So people are really? too picky about this. As Titleist rep said, our normal rule of thumb for a regular golfer, and talking about the average player, as long as it as, as paint loss, as long as paint loss, scuff, or defacement of the golf ball is less than the size of a dime, right, just a little scrape, it has, it should, you're good to go. It has no effect. And they still, they hit balls at the machines and did all the testing. Really? So if you get a little scuff mark, don't panic, don't need another ball. You should ball. have seen the ball I found last <laughs> night on the golf course. I should have kept it. Oh, you should have. No more than a dime. Was I it? told you we should go back and get it. The, it 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 was a, it was a dog's fetch ball, golf ball, <laughs> unbelievable. Shoot up. It had a really interesting um, dimple pattern. It was perfectly pattern. it was perfectly bit into all the way around. That's too cool. So it should be my ball collection. You see? I, I know. know. It would have been perfect. It. I threw it back to the dog because he started chasing me. I didn't want to get bit. Yeah. I would like to conclude this as that, and I mentioned it earlier. That I think golf is a, a good for you. That more people should play. Just use the precautions that we talked about, get some proper technique, and it's great for you mentally and socially. It truly is. You know, if you like to think about things and you like to create, you know, like playing chess, if you will, you have a plan, you like to make plans and achieve those plans. Is that what my problem is? You don't play chess. You play more like checkers. So, um... (laughs) I'll play chess. I think it's an extremely healthy, healthy game for people. And it is. there are a lot of injuries, and there, but it's I don't think they're golf related. I think if they if they do the precautions, so that's just my conclusion. I'd love to hear yours if you send a report or you can share now. I'd rather have you share now than send a report if that's okay. I like everything you said. Really? Mm-hmm. Come on. See that's you bringing it. So you brought in a doctor. You should say your point counterpoint. You know, golf also teaches you very important skills in life, as we wow. know from the first tee. Like there's times where you have to be, you have to have a lot of perseverance to go on with golf. You've got to be able to accept defeat and failure and get up the next day and do it again. Yep. And full, full circle, full except, circle, except and defeat. The social. Did part, you hear that, Bill? Yeah, except, except defeat. Defeat. Yeah. Defeat. I or, sent or that post to you earlier. Pictures of defeat. Yeah, defeat. we started with posting. That's where yeah. it goes. Have you posted yet? No. Jeez, man. <laughs> 
So I, you know, the, the, I don't play competitive golf that much anymore, but the biggest thing is the social. When I played Mon, uh, Montecito, it was social. It was fun. Play yeah. with friends. And I'm playing with you on the 8th in a, in a scramble right. tournament again. We're going to go down and play on the 8th. Calendar. What time is that? I don't know, 10 o'clock, something like that, okay. I'll tell you. But we yeah. played last year in that event. So, um, but that's going to, it's fun. It's just get out there with your buddies and laugh and, you know, and enjoy the day. I think that, to me, is healthy to get away from the stresses of work or whatever else you got going in your life. It's, it's, the game is not stressful for me. It was when I was playing competitive golf. High expectations, not enough outcome for that. It's stressful. Right, so you're thinking, oh, I got to make this putt to make this check, blah blah blah. Now let's just go out and have a good time, and I think it's healthy to get out and do that. And so I don't know if, if would you agree with that, Doc? I do. <laughs> I and I agree that, that kale is horrible for you. Would you agree with that, Doc? No. There, good, fine. And could you explain how why? much kale? How much kale is is the right amount of kale? <laughs> much as you want to eat? Oh, uh, seriously? Bar before you throw up, which is like a teaspoon. Because I get to a point, some uh, I and I had this like what Nikki was saying. Like I, there's a certain amount of kale I can eat where it's too. Then it becomes too much. If you like avoid feathers, if you avoid like roughage stuff, if you're getting yeah. if it comes out the other side in, in leaves form, it's too much, man. <laughs> you, you can always <laughs> you can my... always blend it or juice it. <laughs> goes in if as, I, if goes I own in a restaurant, leaves and come out as if a I own a restaurant, I would have the kale kale Caesar salad. <laughs> kale Caesar. Kale Caesar. What do you think? <laughs> That is hey, a great I know. Name. You know what? Heard it here first, When people. you move to Chubtown I'm about to have and you Kale open Sa up your fast food restaurant and or your restaurant you talk Kale about. Kale Caesar. Kale Caesar, I'll have two man. Kale Caesars. Yes. Yes. <laughs> on the outskirts of Chubtown. Ch Chubtown, we're sticking with I could run the outskirts. Because it's, you know, that's you can't be, you got to be chubby you, enough you to you gotta move inside town. you got to be chubby to get into Chubtown. Oh. Pets, you can drench it with Caesar dressing. You'll be back in Chubtown. You're good. So Because it's healthy. Yeah. But what if you had just a couple of healthy items on your menu? Then you could be in the middle of Chubtown. Yeah, you could, not middle. You'd have you to have be just out. Your menu so is it's more, about a third out. If your menu is way lean, like ninety percent to Chubtown and ten percent healthy, then you could have the Kale Caesar. <laughs> that's one of your healthy. I know, that's, I'm telling you, people are going to hear that now, and you're going to see it on menus. <laughs> we already. Nikki <laughs> and I were talking about that. There's. We we didn't go into that, but oh yeah, it, that's it's, too bad. I, it's ironic how some of the topics we've had over the last month have suddenly popped up. Oh, I can yeah. go over so many of them. It's crazy, I know. It's like they we just believe did somebody's a ball. spying on us. They just did a ball thing. You yeah. saw that? It came out right after our show. Ball breaking news. This just <laughs> in. Kale Caesar. Yeah, let's see if ball that comes out. News. How yeah. long does it take that's that to I, hit I Golf Digest? That. That's what I have at time. Right, dang yeah. it. Ball or, breaking news. what this. about them interviewing whoever it was and asking them, what do you like? Pizza or sushi? Yeah, they used our profile. They used that too. Kale? And what about when <laughs> the tour players came out and they put the uh, dry eyes? I have a post on Facebook. I don't know if you're not a post yet, but it was me pondering kale. You should see the comments that some of these people <laughs> wrote. You want to see? I'll show you. I'll, I'll, I'll you know, you I, you know how I know that you're not eating kale, right? Uh, There's no mustache. <laughs> That's what you said, yeah. yeah. If you get, eat kale, your beard starts growing faster. <laughs> it's proven. Here's my picture. and then Oh, I have something to ponder real quick. Ready? Yeah. All right. Golf is like a love affair. If you don't take it seriously, it's no fun. If you do take it seriously, it breaks your heart. Aww. Aww. Hmm. Hmm. That makes hmm. me sad. Hmm. Keep it on course, everyone. Thank you for listening to Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy. Be sure to visit our partners on the web, TaylorMade Golf, Slick Sticks, PasaRobolsGolfClub.com, McPhee's Grill.